Hello YouTube. Today I want to show my uh, coordinate system I made in Minecraft. So it works like this. Uh, these are the X positions controllers, and these are the Y positions controllers. And uh, just like a real mathematical system, you can point out any position of this uh, screen. Like I want x is 6, then it will move to point 6, and maybe I want uh, y uh, 6, and it will move to y 6 there. Um, I'm not gonna show another thing I added. I'm having an idea that uh, these can be used for making like engines for games in Minecraft. So I just started to experimentate with it and I came up with this. Let's set x and y to 4. And uh, then I have a pressure plate here and the two go yeah so let's say this is the dot you are in the game and you want to jump in the game and now I jump and it jumped on and then I jump down and it goes back now you want of course to know what's behind this and uh, here it is this is the controller part for the um, controllers in there so only one output for x can be on and one output for y can be on same time not more and i actually i cheated with wireless redstone because it feels like unnecessary to draw lines from there to there just waste of delay and time and everything and uh, here is the binary adder. Oh, I forgot. Um, here is a decimal to binary. And these go into binary adders, as I said. And here we have uh, the little jump thingy. It's what adds one to the y positions. So it goes one higher. And here are the binary to decimal converters and uh, here is uh, the thing that is making all of this work it's just a whole bunch of AND gates hmm. I actually think I can draw this output world a bit okay so I successfully copied it with world edit and uh, the whole idea of this is based on NAND gates and if you wonder why it looks different is it because the torch that should be here in the usual designs is here instead doesn't really matter and uh, how it works is uh, let's say I want uh, this row which would be a 7 in uh, the display room there so I want 7 and I want that's horizontal row 7 and I want uh, vertical row uh, and 4 that would give us these out as you see only this output is off and then that is just to connect to a screen and uh, yeah, these uh, towers powers all of the oh, when it's powered, this tower uh, it will turn all of these side of the NAND gate off. When this row is powered, it will turn the right side of the NAND gates off, and that makes only one possible combination at a time. So only one of those are triggered 
like right now. So let's change it just to let you guys see how it works. We'll set this on. We'll give um, this output. I know this machine isn't much optimized at all. It's very, very slow. I know it, and I could have made it a thousand times faster. And I know it could have gone, uh, had uh, negative numbers like a real uh, coordinate system, but I didn't know about negative binaries though, so I couldn't make it. But I might well update it. But that's it for today. Thanks, YouTube. Goodbye.